we're going to test gadgets for the stay-at-home worker. You may now leave and test the gadgets. Yes. First up are the retiree and skilled manual labourer. Ironically, the two people least likely to work from home. This is called a true grip. Because you grip hold of it, you type from the back. It's kind of like a keyboard on the back. As you press the relevant button, it shows up on the front. I'm a bit hard pushed, really, to see the point. I have the Lavolta laptop table. There's a fan in the bottom to keep my uh, legs warm and my laptop cool. But while three of my panel are hard at toil testing gadgets, I can't find the city professional. So the student and I put in a video call. What have you been doing today? Have you been testing as agreed? I have indeed. We just wanted to make sure that you weren't doing anything else. You weren't just what would you think? In a nice suit, see? Why do you mention your suit? Because it shows that I'm working hard. Right. He's just joshing in a good-natured manner. That suit is, in fact, a set of suit jammers, comfortable gym jams disguised as a business suit, the perfect prop for skiving off, even if you are booked in for an important video conference call and should be taking it more seriously. I think something stinks. Forget tech. I think he's put himself offline. After a frank and non-combative dialogue, Hi. the panel have chosen the nation's favourite. Without any doubt, it would be the suit jammers. Yes, a gadget I can fully put every ounce of my personal being into. Hello, viewer. Let me paint you a picture of our unfolding narrative. It is 9am and I'm about to go to work. Far from my crib, my technical support staff has constructed a fully functioning fake office staffed by the world's best telepresence devices and programmable robots. And because of his insight, intellect and total availability, I've re-recruited Dara to be the office's only living worker. Hi, Dara. Richard. Welcome to the team. Oh, my God, Richard, what have they done to you? Richard, oh, my God, is this what you are now? Dara, think of this as Skype. Oh. On wheels. Oh, you're not like in the thing. You're no, not. In the... I'm just. I'm in bed with a laptop. No, I, I literally thought they transplanted your brain into a robot. That's how good this is. But Dara has no time to gawp. His agreeing to come was contingent on leaving as soon as possible, so he's got to get to work. Hello. That, th actually, this is genuinely delightful. The cost-conscious solution to the problem of mobile telepresence is the Romo, which turns your smartphone into a remote-controlled desktop robot. Now, there we don't go. touch me. That's, in a, that's harassment in the workplace. It, it's not. You're not even here. That was inappropriate touching. You touched my face. That's soft intimidation. Face. Stop you it. Were soft don't face. Mm. OK, 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 OK. All right. Yeah. That was a bit extreme. Who can play at that game? OK. All right. What, is this my work that I have to do? Yes, this is your work. This is a waiver of liability. That's correct. I literally include the words, by signing below, I forfeit all right to bring a suit against Gadget Man for any reason. That is correct. I need to countersign it. OK, let me so slide just... it under here. Slide it under my arm. KUKA robot arms are used in industry and science to do everything from welding to surgery. But office admin is a new market. It's remarkable, actually. Are you going to do it on the paper at any stage? I, I generally, before I sign stuff, I have a bit of a flourish above the paper okay. to focus okay. the mind before depressing it. Why don't you... Dara. Yes. Be honest, did you lower this table? No. OK, you may have to lift it up to the robot arm. Just lift the paper <laughs> up a tiny OK, I'm, I'm lifting it up, I'm lifting it up. OK, here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Oh. That's, that's really poor. There we go. Wow. That is more like some sort of colouring in you've done. That is how I sign. That's my signature. Now, we only have a hundred more documents to do, so let's keep the banter light. OK, come on. After that brief bout of work, Dara has certainly earned a break. Hey, Richard. Hi, Dara. This is like the, the social high point of the day, really, in office life. Who am I spending my break time with? You're spending it with four junior members of Daft Punk. Now robots are some of the most versatile in the world. They're used as electronic companions as well as teachers and have a huge following among programmers. And when it comes to making tea, they are the shiz. Is, yes, the tea bag is 
near the water. Yes. And now we're out. Look at that. And this will be a weak cup of tea, Richard. Fortunately, they can be programmed to do a number of other jobs and can walk, talk and see. Here Think we go. Think how much more efficient this is than the normal preparation method. Fresh from that triumph, I summoned my staff to the boardroom for a one-to-one. -one. Representing me whilst I remain bedbound is Robothespian, a machine purpose-built to present information in an engaging way. Motion-sensitive controllers track my hand and head movements and give me a far greater range of gesture and expression than I possess in real life. Dara, I'm going to ask you, which gadget do you think has been the most successful? I mean, they've all triumphed. But if you had to pick one? I would have to say probably the signature robot, yes. because it's given me any number of legal loopholes with which to sue you. Well, it's a shame that it should have come to this, Dara, because I'm having a look at my organisation and I can't see you fitting in. You're not a team player. I, I'm literally the only person in your organisation. Despite occasional flashes of brilliance, what, with who, regret, who? I have to inform you, Dara. <laughs> what are you pointing at? The whiteboard at? and you are, are both fired. Well, I hope you enjoy your virtual office. Well, good luck in your future business endeavours. You'll need it because you couldn't sell fish to someone who needed fish, or something that he would say that was pithy and sounded from the streets. Can I thank you for the opportunity? Just sling your, your fire. Okay.